The rafts allow us to access country that other hunters can't or won't get to. Getting to those isolated pockets of public land can be our separation. That's a big old oh, David, that is fucking beautiful, dude. Fresh river to table. Look at all the blood all over the plants. And that is a legal deer. What's up, guys? I am jacked because we are heading for a two night, three day river float. We're going to hunt mule deer. They're still heading that river. Um, I had a newborn in July, so haven't been able to get out much. So if you haven't seen any, Girdle Bug Boys videos, if you're a subscriber, that's why. Uh, but this should be a heck of an adventure. Here's the obligatory uh, shot of all the gear, you know, pre, uh, you know, pre packing. So I got to get all that to fit on that. We're going after mule deer and steelhead. Let's go. Just here, waiting on Nick. <laughs> hey, Josh. Yeah. Hey, do you think you can take the, uh, take the carpet? I don't know, I don't know, Nick. My boat's about, a, I don't know, a third the size of well, yours. I guess we're just going to freeze, aren't we? <laughs> okay, Coddle. To Coddle. We miss you, Coddle. To steelhead and mule deer. The occasional waterfowl. Yes. To not getting skunk. Getting any of the or three. Bear. Or bear. We're packed up. Ready to roll. With my yacht. Should be interesting. food, no water. We got to drink river water. <laughs> yeah, we should be able to live for about a month. I wouldn't expect you to back row. Look at that subtle gear presentation. Kerplunk. Man, feeling good about the trip so far. The boys are on the water. They're floating a turd. I got the fly rod out. Getting a steelhead drift or two in here. How cool is it that we're on a hunting trip that might also have steelhead in it? That'll work. Pontoon is red. Feels so good. What a beautiful day to get started. Worst weather would probably be better for the deer hunting, but man, what a nice day to be floating. Dreams of mule deer hiding up in those smoky sunlit shelves right up there. Coming down through saddle. Beautiful. Alright, 
boys and girls. First, uh, first fish of the trip. I'm rowing, fishing, and now filming. So uh, bear with me for a sec while I land this guy. Beautiful Grand Ronde River trout. I was hoping it was gonna be a steelhead. <laughs> Got both trout on this Copper John with a little fuzz on it. I got a double head, double bead head, stonefly with orange beads for the steelhead. Our first camp is all set up and there's just enough daylight left for young Davy and I to hike about 1200 feet up to the ridge glass the adjacent creek basin at magic hour. ridge but we got our first two deer of the trip mule deer does didn't bring the mag scope so we probably can't show you oh yeah you can see her right there all she's missing is a couple of funny pointed bones on her head and we'd be letting one rip she's right at 490 Hello, beautiful. Where's your boyfriend? We just saw antlers again. The bad news is, he's right there. <laughs> We're a ways away. It's an understatement. At 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Yeah. Well, David, what have we seen tonight? Oh, we're looking at two does, 500 yards. Four corn at probably a couple thousand. Three thousand yards. <laughs> Pretty cool night. Got the canyon to ourselves. Yeah, we hot, we hoofed our asses up about 12, 1,200 feet. Got rewarded with uh, seeing three deer, including a buck. As it turns out, young Davy and I made a pretty big mistake as we rushed up to the top of the ridge for last light. About three quarters of the way up the ridge is a cliff line and we picked a little crevice to climb up through. But as we come back down at night towards camp, we can't find our little route and all the cliffs just look like a scary fall from the top in our headlamps. <laughs> that was rad. 10 out of 10, don't recommend the hike down. Yeah, holy crap. At night. Yeah, David and I just Dude, I came down some cliffs, 1200 feet. From up top, it looked like we were gonna die. Meanwhile, Nick was down here getting shot at and he caught a giant fish. Doing the hike again. First morning after camp one. Can't believe we're doing it again. Cause we, Gotta go up here, and we gotta end up, I'm shooting for that. <laughs> Last night, David and I came back down through this zigzag, which was totally reasonable going up during the daylight hours. But from the top of that band of cliffs at night, it looked like everything was a fall to your death. 
It was pretty intense. Rolling ankles on grass, sliding on grass. Looking back over the other side of the ridge. A little drift boat coming down. Glassing during the morning of day two turns up more of the same. A fair amount of does, but no legal bucks. As a group, we decide to hike back down the ridge and spend the day wetting a line. Another little trout here on the Grand Run. Not very well filmed. Another beautiful Grand Run drop. A little high stick nymphing for steelhead here. Can't find any mule deer bucks. Found 18 does and one two point buck. So we're gonna do a little fishing. See if we can get the cast part of the cast and blast here. Nick says all the fish are on the far side in the calm water, so we're gonna double haul our way over there. Get out the turd thrower. Huck some gear fishing equipment over there. Should have brought the spay rod. You know what we should have tonight? Steelhead and bald eagle. took my steelhead. I was on my way down with the fly rod, like a gentleman. Oh, here we go. We got color. Nick, can I get a shot of you in your floral shorts and under armor? So I know. A lot of color. You can just back him up on the rocks or you can get in there with a the net either way. Don't horse it though, nice and easy. No, you're gonna run again. That's another salmon. Oh, that might, dude, that's a steelhead. That's a big old steelhead. That's a steelhead for sure. Oh, it's a steelhead. Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! Man, you are a terrible netter. Oh, fuck, dude, I already do my 
That's what happens when you have a Californian Woo! on the net. Steelhead, baby! That is a toad. Toad steelhead. Oh, dude! High five! Yeah, baby. Dude, get it out and give me like a nice, like, hold it out. Yeah. Would have been cooler on the fly rod. How far out was it? Yeah, I wouldn't even have got out there. We can't find a buck, but we can find steelhead and salmon, apparently. Yeah, dude. Oh, David, that is fucking beautiful, dude. Oh, that is so sexy. That's good. You're good. That again. Are you shitting me? God, that's like that's like losing your virginity. Congratulations, bud. Hi. Hi. You look so good. You threw your drink at me when you missed that miss on the net. Uh, because I was fucking, I was very so stressed out. It was <laughs> like when you were gonna throw the barbecue on our first Dude, steelhead. Just deal. throw it overboard. Hey. I never catch the most fish, but I do net the most fish. Okay. Get it? David's first steelhead. First steelhead. No We're freaking way. Fillet job. I'm a little fucking nervous. Yeah, you didn't. There's, there's at least 25 people watching on the Gerderbuck Boys channel. Actually, 126. Tonight, we're having fresh caught hatchery steelhead, mashed potatoes, courtesy of this guy. Oh, this fillet is bad. This is a bad fillet. Oh. Remember, I can edit, Nick. I ain't bad. I mean, I remember filleting my first fish. It's okay. That's gone on the fucking grill tonight. Potatoes. What does it create there, David? Can you read the ingredients again? Yeah, we have an Idahoan loaded baked with 100% uh, real Idaho potatoes, perfectly blended with sour cream, cheeses, onions, and chives with a taste of butter and bacon with extra butter. That sounds delightful. Like a Wherever you are, <laughs> right over there. Yeah. Steelhead today. I come out taking a shit. What's our preferred uh, method of steelhead preparation? Uh, we got uh, the Nick Frost catching it mystery seasoning mix here. Mm -hmm. We're doing a little bit no. of everything. Okay. Sorry, this is the mystery one. That's the lemon garlic. Lemon garlic mystery. Okay. And butter, butter <laughs> and then more butter we have butter Costco provided us recently. thank you Costco we'd be willing to accept your sponsorship yeah. with the girdle Bug boys channel and they can be this dark and I'll still take a shot at a goose if it flies over <laughs> I think I see a buck <laughs> It's a joke, by the way, YouTube. We got the turbo fire kicking. Yep. Also, courtesy of Costco. Yep. Thank you, Costco. We're willing to accept the sponsorships, as stated. Steelhead. Tonight, we're having steelhead, mashed potatoes and whatever peak or mountain house foods is prepared for us. Also purchased at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Who's team? There's Nick in a child's tent, cramping up with his balls out. Do we have lemon? Some oh, we had lemon garlic. Just seasoning. Yeah. Put enough butter on anything, it'll and taste. And that was Leche de Madre, milk of the mother. 
Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. We miss you. Wish you were here. There we go. We got fresh river to table. Look at that shit. It over the open fire. River to table. Grand Rod Spillhead. He survived all those things just to get caught by your dumbass. Traveled all the way to Japan. Did a figure eight. Now it's getting wrapped up in foil. Missed seals. Missed orcas. See the fish ladders. Either Sharks gonna, bite through. Either gonna bite through some stagnant ass reservoirs like, and fish ladders. Only went over like eight dams. <laughs> We're either gonna wrap it in foil. <laughs> got screwed up by this red bearded yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> Maybe that fish hatchery, was, hatchery fish. Yeah, maybe that fish was a dumbass. Man, right off the skin. That oh, looks pretty good, bro. Pasta would have gotten good with that. Well, we that can still do that. I make fun of so many people being like, oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. But when did you know that this is so good? Riverside Steelhead, dude. So yeah. good. Courtesy of David. Courtesy of Young David. Yep. Or what, what Davey. do we call him? Young Davy. Young Courtesy <laughs> of Young Davy. Girdlebug boy. Honorary member. New member. It's the morning of day three, and I have to head out while well, the guys have two more days. It's safe to say I'm a little jealous. Nick runs over to wave me goodbye and puts a <laughs> smile on my face and I put it behind me and uh, wish the guys good luck. Bye, bud! And there, Nick fades away in the distance. <laughs> and we're off. Now I'm on my own, which is kind of a weird feeling. <laughs> Got about six hours to the shuttle. Maybe there'll be a deer getting a drink along the river. Who knows? Feels like adventure, you know? Floating a river by yourself in a pontoon boat with a rifle and a shotgun and a fly rod, which I may as well be using. <laughs> Life is good. I was like, oh, it's a coyote, I should shoot it. No, it's that guy's German long hair pointer. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy.
steelhead, a salmon, and a goose. It's officially cast in glass. We really wanted a uh, really wanted a mule deer, but I'll take the goose. I'm pretty excited about it. Whew. Rode past it, got up on the bank, stood up, shot back. Shaking right now. There's all these real thick creek draws in between finger ridges. And I look up every one thinking there's gonna be a mule deer walking through it. It's a fascinating way to hunt floating down the river. It's peaceful, it's quiet. You cover a lot of ground. Probably floating by all kinds of bedded bucks. <laughs> you know, sit in glass a hillside for hours before picking out a couple does bedded down somewhere. Me just floating by, I'm probably going by all kinds of deer. I respect their ability to blend into the landscape. That's an understatement. Yeah, that was fun. Fun little section. I'm relieved that the truck is right where the shovel company said it would be and I load up and I drive the couple thousand feet out of the canyon. Uh, looking back I keep thinking about the guys and hoping they find a buck. Alright, day four. We just hiked we were... all the way up this mountain. We're on the way down the back. I'm over here, Nick's way over on the ridge. I see a small 4x4. Four four. Four four? I shoot four times at it. Gun obviously got bumped, not sighted in. Nick comes running over. He's right down here above camp. We shot him. He's down in the thick. We're gonna go get him here in a sec. What's up, girl bug boy? We started this morning kind of looking for a bear. We climbed all the way up. I don't know if you can see it in there. Into the above. That tall stuff right there. And then walked down about 45 minutes. Pretty much gave up, so we're gonna go pack up camp, this and that. Camp's right down here. Camp's right down there, and look what we have over here. Look at all the blood all over the plants. Well, we are looking for a three-point mule deer. Nick, get in there, grab the head. Looks like a pretty good fucking shot to me. Three-point minimum, Grand Ron River. Nice little four by three, a couple of eye guards. No. 
Camp is right here. 